Acts chapter 19 verse 11. Acts chapter 19 verse 11. The question is today, who are you? Big question mark, who are you? Who are you? Acts chapter 19 verse 11. Let's get straight to the word I'm mucking about. Let's get, to, get some action here. God was performing unusual miracles through Paul. Even handkerchiefs and aprons he had used were taken to those who were sick. And their diseases were driven away. And the evil spirits would go out of them. Some Jews who travelled around and drove out evil spirits also tried to use the name of the Lord Jesus to do this. They said to the evil spirits, I command you in the name of Jesus, who Paul preaches, seven brothers who were the sons of the Jewish high priest named Siva were doing this. <laughs> I think you want to get in on the action. Uh, that's great, isn't it? Paul was sending handkerchiefs and people getting healed. Handkerchiefs and aprons. Sending them to all the sick people. They were getting out of their sick beds. They're all getting healed. Oh, that's great, isn't it? So these brothers, they decided they'd have a go at this. We'll get in on the action. I think they could see an opportunity here. We could be famous. We could make ourselves a lot of hard cash. But the evil spirit said to them, I know Jesus and I know about Paul. But who are you? Verse 16, the man who had the evil spirit in him attacked them with such violence that he was overpowered them all. They ran away from his house, wounded them with their clothes torn out. <laughs> oh, we had some fun there, didn't we, eh? They got more than they bargained for. You mess about with the things of God, you can be in deep trouble. You can be in deep trouble, my brothers and sisters out there. You start playing around with the things of God. All the Jews and the Gentiles who lived in Ephesus heard about this. They were all filled with fear. And I would think so. When you have someone that's tearing you to pieces, tearing all your clothes off, they were all filled with fear. And the name of the Lord Jesus was given greater honour. Many of the believers came and publicly admitted and revealed what they had done. Many of them who had practiced magic bought their books together and burnt them in public. They added up the price of the books and the total came to 50,000 silver coins. In this powerful way the word of the Lord kept spreading and growing stronger. So here we have a picture of people who see a bit of action going on in the spiritual realm. Paul anointing, praying for, aprons, handkerchiefs, sending them out to the sick, the sick getting raised up. So these sons of Skeva, it's spelled S-C-A-V-A, -A, Skeva. Oh, the door's opening here. What's going on, Lord? You've still got the door open. But it's windy today. Last time it wasn't windy. Yeah. Okay. The door's still open. Sons of Skeva. Sound like a lot of people around today. Doing magic charms. Witchcraft. Horoscopes. They're horrible, aren't they? Horoscopes are horrible. <laughs> That's why they call them horoscopes. But people love to go in and get their fortune told. And some of them can actually predict a certain amount of truth through the power of Satan. They use Satan tells them what to say. And they're filled with evil spirits themselves. They need the spirits casting out. Okay, so the sons of Skeva, S C 
DVA Skiva, Siva or Skiva decided they'd start up their own little business making a bit of cash around the place. Acts chapter 19 verse 11 if you've got your Bible get the dust off it and have another look. It's a great story. There's a certain amount of humour. I can see the funny side to this. Not that it's that funny, it's really serious. They wanted to cash in, so they said, oh, we can cast out evil spirits too. Anybody can do that. You know, it's very hard to cast out evil spirits. They don't like coming out of people. They've been in some 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and they love to be there. They reckon they've got a right to stay in that person. Uh, in the Jesus name, through the blood of Jesus that he shed on the cross, we, that's you, born again believers, me, born again believers can cast out those evil spirits. Spirits, uh, all sorts of different spirits. You could list them, you could, probably 20 evil different spirits that need to be cast out. But the spirits said to them, I know Jesus and I know about Paul. It's good to know about Jesus, isn't it? It's good to know about Paul, what Paul preached. And I'm sure most of you know by now, if you've been listening to me, what Paul preached. Preached salvation through Jesus Christ, through the blood, through dying on the cross for all of our sins. But the evil spirits I know, said, I know Jesus and I know about Paul, but who are you? <laughs> Well, these guys, I reckon, are starting to shake in their boots when this evil spirit, we know about evil spirits, the bad man of Gadara, he could just bust chains. They used to chain him up. He used to pop the boat, all the chains. So the bad man of Gadara, two men actually there, two bad men of Gadara, they used, people were too frightened to even pass by their way. But of course, we know that Jesus sent and he cast them out. And the evil spirits didn't want to go out. No, we like it in here. We like it with this man, this strong man, this Samson. He just busts the chains. He's full of evil spirits. He's so strong. The strongest man in the world. We always have these competitions, don't we? Who's the strongest man? And some of them get there and they pull a big bus with their teeth. They tie a chain to a big bus and they pull a big bus. Or an aeroplane. I think I saw one, one guy pulling an aeroplane. With his teeth, they had a big chain in him. But here, we have the big strong man. And of course, we know that our, Jesus is our strong man. He's our helper. He can overcome everybody. And the spirits, they attacked him with such violence. They become very violent. That's why people didn't go down to Gadara, see the man, at the bad man, the two bad men at Gadara. Keep away from there. <laughs> They keep away from me too, but they kept away from him because he'd tear them to bits. Anyway, Jesus came, didn't he? Remember he got on the boat, went over to the other side. You heard about the boat, the rough, the rough storm. The disciples being all fearful. Lord, we're going to perish. But Jesus went over on the other side. He got out on the other side. He went in and they got that man and he tracked him down and he cast out. And the evil spirit said, oh, no, no, don't cast us out. We love it here. But Jesus cast them into the herd of swine. All the swine were gathering. That's what Jesus does. He does miracles. He's a powerful working God. These spirits were so strong that they attacked him. They caused wounds. They must have really knocked them up. Bashed them around, tore all their, clo tore all their clothes off. They made news out of them. There were these news running down the street. <laughs> That'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? News running down the street. All the Jews, the Gentiles, <laughs> who lived in heaven. <laughs> I could just imagine these sons of Skiva. <laughs> they thought they were going to have a great new business. We're going to make some money, the sons of Skiva. <laughs> We're going to start this new business. We're going to cast out evil spirits. We've been doing it before with our witchcraft, with our magic tricks, with all our um, 
tarot cards with all sorts of garbage and have all sorts of things. No, darling, not today. What umbrella? No. Did you just see? You just have a visitor. I'm making a movie. Oh. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> Good to have a visitor. Last time the door opened, door opened by itself. <laughs> They're talking about the sons of Skeva. They've been made nude. <laughs> That's a dear wife wanting to come in. She's always wanting to see where I am. Where are you, Ronnie? Have you been raptured yet? No, I haven't been raptured yet. Not today, darling. Okay, let's have some fun around here in the chapel. Okay, so we have these nudes running down the street. Oh, that would have been a great sight. Instead of making money on their new business racket, they had to get all the cards, they had to get all the sorcery equipment. You know what it all is. You know more about it than me, some of you. Because some of you are witches. Aren't you? Some of you are witches. You see, the Lord's talking to you today. See how when I start preaching, then the Lord centers in on something? He's talking on about you witch people. You people who are making money out of witchcraft. You, you got, you're full of evil spirits, and it's time for you to repent. Or you're going to go down to hell, hell, hell. And that's your last warning for some of you. Okay, so the Lord's telling you to that, about that today. Okay, so we had these news running down the street and their clothes torn off. All the Jews and Gentiles who lived in Ephesus heard about this. Oh, it got around. <laughs> Did you see the sons of Sceva? <laughs> oh, no, no, tell me about them. Oh, well, they were, uh, it's, a, it's a long story. <laughs> but they wanted to start this new business. <laughs> they wanted to start, they wanted to get into this casting out <laughs> spirit. I'll pray the Lord, if the Lord's good. I can have some fun preaching this gospel. Okay, the wife's gone there. <laughs> Darling wife, we married 50, what, 53 years. Three lovely children. Praise the Lord. The Lord's good. Okay, so we got there. Oh, you witches. Now start listening to me. I know you can prophesy. I know you can, you can put curses on people. You've tried to be putting curses on me. I know that tried to curse me many times, but through the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, I can throw off every curse, I can destroy every curse, and I can turn that curse around back and put it back on you. But don't start any funny business, I've had enough of it, all you evil people out there. Paul I know, Jesus I know, oh hallelujah. Dirty, scummy witches. Witchcraft. Wow, that's a big business now. Very big, good money making business. But here, what did they do? Many of the believers came publicly admitting and revealing what they had done. Many of those who had practiced magic bought their books together. Oh, they got the books. Have you got the books together and burnt them? in public. That's a good idea you witches, get all your garbage, all your books, all your tarot cards and oh there's a there's actually a shop that's just full of witchcraft stuff. Burn it all down they say. They added up the price of the books and the total came to 50,000 silver coins. What a lot of loot. So instead of the sons of skin <laughs> I can't help but laugh. <laughs> I see the sons of ski right down the street in the mood. Oh, well. And the, I reckon that story would be going around for years. Have you heard about the sons of ski? They tried to start a new business, but it didn't go very good. Oh, not so good. Oh, who are you? That's what the evil spirit said. All I know, geez, I know, but who are you? Who do you think you are? Your books aren't worth a cracker. 
all your magic tokens and jewellery and dangling beads and earrings, they're not worth a cracker. Put them all together and I'll burn them. 50,000 silver coins. That's a lot of money, 50,000 coins now, yeah, silver coins. That could be worth, what, $100,000 roughly? Just roughly, maybe 200000 I don't know. But no idea what that would be worth in today's money. Okay, anyway, what it was, they got them all and made a big bonfire. And that's what I suggest you do. You witches that have been watching and are listening, you witches, I've had enough of you. You've been trying to put curses on me for years. You've been trying to kill me, you mongrels. You've been trying to destroy me. But you're not successful. And you never will be. And you'll burn in hell if you keep doing it. This is your final warning. And the word, in this powerful way, the word of the Lord kept spreading and growing stronger. Hallelujah. Who are you? Are you in the wrong camp? Are you with Paul? Are you with Jesus? Are you being saved? Or are you in the sons of Sceva? Right, <laughs> running down the street in your birthday suit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I can't help stop laughing. <laughs>